Hello everyone, this week's Parsha is Parsha Chayi Sara, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to look at the Ramban's commentary to the beginning of Sukkim of Parsha Chayi Sara, where it discusses the burial of Sarah and Marat Machpela, and we'll point out some key distinctions in the Sukkim that the Ramban notes. So the Ramban notes that in Pasuk Yutet, it says after Avram has buried Sarah, his wife in Marat Machpela, it then goes on to list the location of Pnei Mamre, Hi Chevron Be'eretz Kanan. The Ramban notes that we already know this fact that Avraham is burying Sarah in Eretz Canaan. And because of this, the Ramban takes note of this and notices that earlier on as well, in Pasuk Bet, we have another detail that Avraham buries Sarah, or Sarah dies in Eretz Canaan, and Avraham is coming there to give a hespid, to give a eulogy, and in order to honor Sarah, and he's going to bury her properly. Now, the Ramban notes that Avraham is specifically burying Sarah in Eretz Canaan, as opposed to being buried in the Eretz Shalplishtim. The Ramban notes that this key distinction is because that Avraham is inheriting the land that belongs to these nations, the seven nations that are listed in the continuation of the Torah. Though Avraham is not getting the land of Plishtim, where Avraham is sojourning through Grar and Nachal Grar and all these different locations, Avraham is now settling and fulfilling this promise to him from Hashem, that in order to inherit the land of Eretz Canaan, that this is given to Avraham as a forever everlasting inheritance, a Nachala Ladorot. So Avraham has to be able to establish this control in Eretz Canaan, and Avraham therefore it buries Sarah specifically in the land Eretz Canaan, and the Ramban takes note of this. Avraham is fulfilling his, so to speak, beginning of this journey of setting up the future nation, like we noticed in the past couple of weeks, the Ramban is highlighting how the stories of the Avot are, so to speak, illuminating the future. As well here, Avraham is recognized by all the other nations. The Ramban writes that Avraham is known as Nesi Elohim. He's recognized as the prince, as the leader, and everyone recognizes his authority. Though Avraham still goes ahead and in order to fulfill this bracha that Hashem is giving him, buries his wife Sarah in Nachalat Hashem, fulfilling this prophecy that Avraham and his future descendants will establish their hold and continue to live in this land of Eretz Canaan, which will become Eretz Israel as their Amban notes. We can take this lesson from us to realize the extent that Avraham is going, going able to being able to fulfill his journey and setting us up and future generations as the Torah will proceed to follow and to show us the importance of Eretz Canaan, Eretz Yisrael, and that we can hopefully all follow suit and learn from this message and be able to realize how the Ramban is highlighting the importance of Eretz Canaan as the Parsha continue. Have a good Shabbos.